OBDK has incurred my wrongs, and he would definitely have a taste of it. Fireball! Please! Will both of you show some respect to your family? Just gonna... No one throws any punch in my palace. Father! You think you're the only one who has a gun? I'm about to tell you what we're like. If you put the neighbor, I don't want to tell you what you're Is that what you want? If you do anything stupid, I swear to God, I will shoot the living daylight out of you. Hey, what? You see the Ganika? You see the Ganika? Come on. Hey, what more? So we are here today that you, the king's immediate family, will choose a date for his funeral rites. I propose that my father be laid to rest in three days. The king, my husband, gave an instruction not to be buried in that manner. You discuss about my father's funeral as if you're talking about a commoner or a chicken. My father will be buried in three weeks. My ancestors have not called me yet, but whenever they do, I want to be put straight to the ground. So because my son opposed you concerning the burial, you and your evil wife connived and kidnapped my son. You have to be very careful with me whenever you around me. Because if you don't get careful, you can't go. Okay, man, what can I do? Get back. Talk, walk it in. Just make a noise. Get back. Ma, talk, walk it in. Three days, my father will be buried. It's obvious that our once existing peaceful royal home is about to be turned into ashes. If you expect me to go and beg that boy who obviously has lost his mind to come back to his senses and respect his late father's wish, then you're wasting your time. You see, there is no peace for the wicked and your husband is wicked. My late father is angry with me and my entire household. He has been flogging us, chasing us around town. My father has been appearing and he has been flogging me. He wants to flog me to death. There will be no king until the demise of OBDK and Okezi.